we will continue. The third uh, presentation is on the combined application of navigation and contrasonance ultrasound in liver tumor ablation. So it's Professor Kai Lee who will present us uh, this very exciting topic, the add-on value of navigation in liver tumor ablation. Warm welcome. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Dentrich. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Li Kai. I'm from the third affiliate hospital of Science San University in Guangzhou. And first, I want to thank the uh, EFSUMS for the invitation to share our experience here about the use of the SUS and uh, ultrasound image fusion uh, in the thermal ablation of the liver tumors. As we know, the thermal ablation is one of the most important curative uh, treatment method for the early stage HCC, and it can be guided by the uh, CT or the B-mode ultrasound, but now we have SUS and also we have the ultrasound uh, future imaging. And in this presentation, uh, I will uh, talk about our experience in the use of SUS and uh, future imaging uh, in the thermal ablation of liver tumor, including the detection, the guidance, the planning, and the assessment of the treatment results. The first part of it is improved detection. And for this patient, uh, he received uh, liver transplantation six months ago uh, because of this HCC. And uh, we can see that in SUS, uh, much more lesions could be shown for this patient. Uh, it's terrible. But uh, we can see a lot more lesions here. And uh, as we know, in most of the cases, uh, we have to use the B-mode ultrasound to, to lo locate the lesion. Then after the injection of uh, the contrast agent, we can see the micro bubbles infused into the lesion. But uh, sometimes uh, if the lesion is inconspicuous in the B-mode ultrasound, we can just uh, miss the target because the uh, hyper enhancement uh, in the arterial phase lasts uh, only in a few min uh, last only in a few seconds uh, for this case it's very hard to locate the uh, lesion but uh, if we can use the image fusion we can locate the, the lesions here and then we can see the hyper enhancement and the second part is the precise guidance and for this case, there's a very uh, small lesion in the segment four, and it's very close to the inferior vena cava. And uh, while doing the ablation, we use the contrast enhanced ultrasound to do the guidance. See, we can see the, okay, here's the lesion here, and we can also see the needle tip and then we insert the electrode. And for another, for this case, they have two lesions. One is in segment five, and there's a tiny one in the segment eight. For this lesion, we cannot see it uh, in, the, in the contrast enhanced ultrasound. So we use the uh, diffusion to locate the lesion here and uh, insert the electrode and do the ablation. After ablation, we can see the two lesion has has been ablated completely. And the third part is the planning. Uh, before taste, the tumor size is more than six centimeters. After taste, the tumor shrinks to uh, three centimeter, but uh, the contrast the en enhanced ultrasound, so there's still blood flow inside the lesion, so we have to do uh, the ablation. And uh, we use multiple ablative volume to cover the whole lesion, uh, as well as the uh, five millimeter ablative margin around the tumor. You can show it in the yellow color. 
and then we do the ablation according to the planning. Uh, besides the MR and the CT image, we can also do the planning based on 3D art sound. And for this case, we can see we we can see the acquisition of the 3D art sound volume image, volume image, and then we outline the tumor as well as the five millimeter aperture margin, and then we mark the critical structure structures around the tumor in different colors, and then we can do the planning. And for this case, the planning is based on the 3D cells. We can see the tumor here, and we mark the tumor in red color, and the yellow is the five millimeter ablative margin. Then we do the planning, then uh, ablation according to the planning. And this uh, our uh, paper published uh, uh, about this topic. And the fourth part is the process evaluation of uh, ablation results. As we know, one of the one of the problems in the HCC ablation is the higher local tumor progression rate compared with the resection. And uh, we know that unachieved uh, ablative margin is one of the uh, influence factors about the higher rate of uh, LTP. For routine CTMRI or SUS, uh, they can uh, make very uh, accurate diagnosis between the complete ablation and the residue. But uh, as to the ablation margin, now no routine result could evaluate because after ablation, the tumor has disappeared and uh, it uh, it uh, it cannot be cannot be seen after the ablation, after the ablation uh, by the routine measure, including the CT MRI or the or the SUS. and. Uh, uh, when we have the image fusion, we use the MRI of the or CT image of the HCC before ablation and fuse the image with the uh, ablative area showed by the SUS image. We combine the two uh, image and we can also do the 3D and say in this case the the seals image of the of the ablative area has covered the whole tumor as well as the, the ablative margin in the in the yellow line. And for this case, we can see the tumor has been uh, ablated, has been ablated completely. But in this part showed by the arrow, the ablative margin has not been covered. So by using the ultrasound image fusion method, we can uh, evaluate whether the amplitude margin has been achieved accurately. And here is our two papers published. And after that, we do uh, the evaluation intraoperatively uh, because uh, if we can show the amplitude margin has not been achieved, we can do the uh, complementary ablation to change the unachieved ablative margin into achieved ablative margin. And for this case, we can see after the first ablation, this part, the ablative margin has not been achieved. Then we do the supplementary uh, ablation, this part uh, and this part, and the whole tumor as well as the uh, uh, five millimeter average margin has been achieved. And uh, according to our research, more than 20% of the patient, uh, in more than 20% of the patient, uh, the, uh, the unachieved uh, ablative margin could be changed. And so uh, in the future, the LTP, the local tumor uh, progression rate could be reduced. And here our five years experience by using the SUS and the fusion imaging in the treatment, uh, in the 
ablation treatment of the liver tumors. Uh, for the lesion in conspicuous in ultrasound, we use the uh, uh, seals and the field imaging. For the lesion larger than three millimeter, three, uh, three centimeter, we use the planning. And after the ablation, we use the field imaging and the uh, to uh, evaluate the result. And if the unachieved uh, aperture margin was detected, uh, and if the supplementary ablation uh, is uh, can be can be due, then we do the supplementary ablation to change the result of the unachieved aperture margin. Altogether, more than uh, 502, 502 HCC lesions in 400. Uh, 19 treatment in IU patients uh, uh, were included in our research. And the result is uh, the complete ablation rate is 99.5% uh, and the major complete rate is uh, lower than 2 cm. And for the overall survival rate, our five years uh, overall survival rate is more than 80%. Eight, and as for the DFS, uh, five years DFS is more than 30%. But the most important is uh, LTP rate. Um, in our research, uh, a five years accumulated LTP rate is lower than 8%. It's much lower than other research, uh, than, uh, than the result of other uh, papers. And uh, the result of our five years papers uh, has been published last year in the European Journal of Art Sound. And here's the takeaway message: uh, by using the SUS and the Art Sound field imaging, uh, the result of the HCC ablation could be improved, including the detection, the guidance, the planning, as well as the assessment. Thank you for your attention. Big applause. Thank you so much for the excellent uh, presentation. And um, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, first of all, I understood uh, really nicely your very well, um, very good illustrations. Uh, that was amazing. There's one question. What softwares do you use for 3D fusion reconstruction on contrast enhanced ultrasound? Uh, you mean uh, when? You mean uh, in what kind of a condition that I used uh, 3D acquisition? No, fusion? the softwares, the names of the software. You used GE. Okay, I, I used well ISO. And ISO. It's from Italy, I thought. Oh, is that Ote? Ah, I got it. Okay. Um, any more questions from the audience? I'm very happy uh, to be allowed to moderate uh, this excellent session on um, really very interesting topics. We first learned that it is not only the size of gallbladder polyps, but there are other morphological and contrast enhanced ultrasound features which we have to take care for the evaluation of gallbladder diseases, including the uh, gallbladder wall thickening. Second, we had that serious diagnosis of new hepatic nodules in patients with colorectal cancer during chemotherapy. And uh, it is um, oxaliplatin and irinotecan, which are mainly inducing uh, such lesions. And it has been very nicely uh, explained what kind of lesions we have to take care and we also learned that uh, liver biopsy and histological evaluation might be necessary under some circumstances. And thirdly, we learned that the three-dimensional uh, 
intervention, guided intervention and navigation of contrasounds, ultrasound and liver tumor ablation is of importance. And we nicely depict the uh, illustrative uh, lectures. And we also learned that a lot of uh, current knowledge and innovative uh, ultrasound uh, scientific work comes from China. And you all three represented this very uh, nicely and uh, very conclusive. And I thank you very much uh, for the preparation of your presentation, the presentation, and uh, the very exciting uh, lectures. Thank you so much. Thank you. you, Christoph. Thank you very much, Professor. And uh, to Thank all you. the audience, um, it has been a pleasure to be with you and uh, to uh, receive uh, your questions. And please do not hesitate to communicate with FSUMP also in the future. Uh, it's a very good platform for distributing international cosmopolitan scientific work. Thank you so much to all our presenters and all to the audience. Have a beautiful day and night and whatever. See you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.